చేపి మోగన్ చేయిస్ గోల్డెన్ సాక్స్ బ్యాంక్ ఆఫ్ అమెరికా మెరిల్ లెంచ్ మోగన్ స్టాన్లీ అండ్ ద సిటీ గ్రూప్ దీస్ ఆర్ ద టాప్ ఫైవ్ ఇన్వెస్ట్మెంట్ బ్యాంక్స్ ఆఫ్ ది వర్ల్డ్ ఫర్ పీపుల్ అండ్ వాల్ స్ట్రీట్ దీస్ ఆర్ రిగార్డెడ్ ఎస్ హైలీ సాట్ ఆఫ్టర్ ఎంప్లాయర్స్ ఆఫరింగ్ బిగ్ బక్స్ In 2015, Goldman Sachs brought around $39.2 billion in revenue and in the same period, JP Morgan Chase brought in around $96.6 billion in revenues. To get an idea how much huge these banks are, the asset under management of JP Morgan Chase is around $2.4 trillion, which is greater than the GDP of the second most populous country of the world, India. So what does an investment bank actually do? How do they earn so much of money? We will be seeing the top 5 ways in which investment banks make money. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button for more such videos. The first one is mergers and acquisitions. When a company A takeovers or buys a company B, all the assets, liabilities, debts and the ownership of company B are transferred to company A. This is called as an acquisition. When company A and company B consolidates together to form a single company it is called a merger. The investment bank helps in valuation of these companies and identifies the strength of each division which allows mergers and acquisitions to happen at a fair price. In return bank gets 0.5 to 1% of the deal as fee. In 2011 when Microsoft offered to buy Skype, Skype approached Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan Chase to help them get the right deal. paying 30 million dollars as fees to them for 2016 just these two banks brought in combined 5.1 billion dollars as fees the second way is by putting together ipo deals ipo stands for initial public offering when a company decides to be listed on the stock market for the first time so that the common people can buy and sell its shares it is called as ipo in such a case investment banks help put together such offerings they help set the price and market it actively to their wealthy clients and earns commission on the money raised the third method is proprietary trading which means trading with firms own money it has come down a lot after the 2008 crash by the way if you want to learn more about the 2008 crash you can click the i button in the top with the help of their research they might trade oil gold or simply stocks or their derivatives or real estate or anything else for that matter next source of revenue for the investment banks is prime brokerage When the big hedge funds and the financial institutions want to trade, normal brokers can't help them with their million dollar trades. This is where prime brokers such as Goldman help these funds set up their trades. The last method is private wealth management. If you're a billionaire sitting on loads of wealth, then you might have problems managing all your money. Here the investment banks help you in filing and saving your taxes, managing your investments, taking care of your debt and assets and checking your overall risk exposure. All this so that a billionaire can relax on a beach knowing that his wealth problems are being taken care of. If you find my video helpful, do share the video, subscribe for more such videos, like if you like my video and comments are always appreciated.